Hi, I'm Steven. That's John. We're from Just Got Played, and we are counting down Mr. X's top 25 games of all time. So go back and watch our video from December 1st if you want to know more about it. But essentially, it's an aggregated list uh, of uh, top 25 games. Um, so now we are on December 5th, and we are doing game number 21. And that is from 2014, Dead of Winter. So this is the seventh year uh, that we've been doing this list, and Dead of Winter has been on this list a lot. So in 2016, it was number six. In 2017, it came at number 16. 2018, it was all the way up at number five. 2019, it came in at 16. And 2020 and 2021, it missed the list. But here it is back again. In 2022, we have Dead of Winter, a Crossroads game, uh, at number 21. All right, John, can you tell us what Dead of Winter is about? Sure. Uh, Dead of Winter is a game about survival. Everybody's working together. It's a cooperative game. You're trying to get food, uh, weapons, protect yourself. Really, your entire goal is staying alive, and it is not an easy task to do. Something around every corner is trying to kill you or kill anyone on your team, and you're just trying to make it through. It's a very uh, very long game, and you have to fight for survival at every moment of it. So that, that theme is really there present throughout the entire thing. It's very thematic. It's a very fun concept. But the twist that probably makes it... Uh, high on people's list that really do enjoy it is there could be a betrayer amongst your midst there's somebody that possibly it's not always the case possibly is working against you and at some point when you've had a particularly rough couple of turns and everybody's you know nearly dead and morale's low suddenly they twist the knife and they reveal it was me all along i've been destroying the food uh so there's that moment where you as the betrayer can just suddenly reveal that you've been hindering them all along and it's just that great gaming moment that you really can't get from any games of i had to pretend to play nice this whole time and i was the bad guy all along you are the secret spy sent to destroy the group and and things like that so even if there's no traitor in the game there's still it, it gives it that thematic edge of you're just like we barely passed that check. Which one of you is working against me? Uh, and it really works well with the theme, because if you're just trying your best to survive and things aren't going well, you're going to start to get a little bit paranoid. So traitor or not, it's always makes for an interesting game, a thematic game and a very fun game to to get through. And when you do survive, it feels like an accomplishment. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, the box says that this game takes 60 to 120 minutes. Um I guess maybe it takes 60 minutes if you die real fast. <laughs> um, I, you know, it also says it's uh, it goes up to five players. So two to five players. And I played this at five players and I can't imagine five players actually playing this in two hours. It took us a lot longer than that with five players. Um, I also wouldn't recommend it at five players. I played it at two players and had a much better experience uh, mm -hmm. than five players. But it really uh, it really does a very good job with the theme, um, you know, Everything that you do, there's, you know, just moving locations and having to roll that, whatever it's called, survival die or something, you know, the thing where you might might get bit and die, uh, essentially, and have to switch to your alt character, I guess it's called, um, you know, uh, uh, just everything is sort of a risk, like, and that that's how the game should feel. Now, I haven't said that, I don't particularly like that die, <laughs> you know, moving uh, from uh place to place just like is that gonna kill me i don't know we'll find it's aptly named um, it's a die <laughs> yeah yeah dead dead of winter right dead <laughs> lots of dead in, in this game so uh but you know if you like the theme i would say definitely check it out if you like uh games that have that theme and you want to sort of have that experience it's sort of horror experience in a board game like this is this is really good at that yeah there's a lots of expansions there's lots of way to add on to it. it's modular um, I will say it's it's kind of like a lifestyle game. You have to have a group that's really into it, that, that enjoys the mechanics, that enjoys the trader. Um, but when you do, when you get that game where there's five people and they're all uh, really enjoying the game and suddenly it's revealed that someone's a trader, it's one of those moments in gaming that you just can't replicate in, in other kind of games. And it just it really sings when that happens. So with the right group, it's a game that you'll remember forever. Uh, with bad luck in the wrong group, you'll remember it forever too, but for a different reason. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I know that people really like the crossroads system. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, there's that part of the card that you read aloud and then there's the part at the bottom that you don't read aloud that just might get triggered off of some behavior or something going on mm -hmm. at the table. Um, and I think, you know, it's interesting because 
when this came out, people were like, ooh, crossroads system, that's cool. They should make more games like that. And I think there have been one or two other crossroads games, but I guess they've fallen flat, right? You never hear about them. So um, I, I would say if that sounds interesting to you, that this would be the game to show out for the crossroads system, because this is the original one and the one everybody talks about uh, for that system. Definitely a game to check out for sure. Yeah. All right. Well, so uh, this video is a contest. So Mr. X's top 25 games of all time uh, is a contest. And the way that you enter is you leave a comment in the YouTube video. At the end of the month, uh, we'll select someone and that someone will win a prize. So in this video, tell us what you think uh, about Dead of Winter. And if you don't have any particular thoughts about Dead of Winter, tell us uh, what you think is the best sort of horror themed board game or the board game that brings you know out the horror theme best in your opinion. All right, but, uh, and also of course, we're releasing one of these every day. So join us tomorrow for the next game in the top 25. Uh, but until then, I'm Steven, that's John, and thanks for joining us.